Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and yeah, this is going to be an early one. Um, just preparing this cast video, it, I, I actually got started on it fairly early, like towards the uh, early part of the evening. So, by the time, uh, or it's, it's 10.48 p.m. right now. Um, normally, I like, I like uh, starting on these around 11 p.m. That way, so by the time I get it all processed or uploaded and processed and all that, it'll be midnight. But like I said, this time around, I got started on it early, so I'm all prepared and ready to go early. So, and then um, let me go ahead and uh, intro this music real quick. This is gonna be uh, it, it's either Idra or I D R A. I don't know which, but a duet. Um, it's just ambient music, and it just came out today. So, let me go ahead and rewind her back. Um, and yeah, then change is going to be in the air. Um, one, um, in fact, what you're listening to right now came from a, a new channel I got, or a new channel I found called Siberian Ambience. Um, and they put out a bunch of different ambient albums. Um, so many that uh, I can't really keep up. So, they, which is pretty much what I've been doing most of the evening. Just uh, doing copyright checks on all of them. So, I think um, I think they have a few here, and I think they have a few here and there that are copyrighted, but a lot of others aren't. So, and then um, one other channel. In fact, um, I think it just popped up like this evening, but was uh called Monkey BGM. Um. I think it's like cafe and jazz music or something like that. Um, but uh, they have they have a uh, they got a bunch of different uh, live streams of jazz music, and um, some of the looking at their videos, some of their videos are like um, it says like copyright free. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna go ahead and do with these guys is uh just they'll like a lot of other live stream channels, they'll. Oh, how can I put this? Once they're done with their with their live stream, with their particular live stream, they'll archive it, for lack of a better word. They'll archive it, like in this case here, they're uh, divided up into six hour videos. So, me doing a copyright check on this will probably literally take all night. But um, if I do this and none of it's copyrighted, then you look to look to be hearing some more uh, jazz music in these cast videos. For those that don't know, jazz is my favorite genre of music. But the problem is, is that at least 90% of it is all copyrighted, so I can't use them in my videos. But if, but like I said, if I do a copyright check on one of these videos and it comes up clean, then I'm really struck gold because. I've been wanting to play, I've been wanting to play jazz music in my uh, these cast videos for a long time. But like I said, very, very little of it's actually free to use. And I think um, the ones that are don't don't really sound that jazzy. They sound more like lo-fi. And I have to check some real quick. Okay, it's still going. I didn't hear no music for a moment, so I thought maybe maybe YouTube decided to freeze up. So, anyway, um, this morning, oh, um, I think I laid down around 4.30 a.m., but around, uh, around 10 a.m., I got forcibly woken up on my freaking back. I slept wrong, pulled a muscle, uh, right by my, uh, right by my right shoulder blade. Oh, God, it fucking hurt. And to make matters worse, too, it was in my, in my right shoulder blade, so... I couldn't sleep. I all the tossing and turning and it still hurt like hell. I don't know what the hell I did. Um I don't know how how wrong I slept or Just looked a little off. 
Yeah, I don't. I, like I said, I don't know what I did the night before, or the night or day before. Um, I'm still trying to figure out. How, I'm still trying to figure out how differently I slept. So, but yeah, like I, like I said, once once I was rudely awakened, there was no way in hell I was gonna be able to lay back down. So, and, and again, this is one of those situations where ibuprofen really wasn't helping. I was also trying to mix up uh, ibuprofen and Tylenol. It's actually supposed to be more effective doing it like that, as long as you don't take them at the same time. Like you take, you take ibuprofen and then four to six hours later, you take uh, Tylenol. And you just kind of go back and forth with that. So yeah, but like I said, that that really wasn't helping either. And so uh, when I was uh, getting my stream set up, I was actually debating on debating on just not streaming at all. Because again, it, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to stream when I have that pain in my back. It's going to be too distracting. Kind of you know makes it hard to focus. You know, kind of like kind of like during my work week, usually my lower back is so lower back and shoulders are so messed up that it just I wouldn't be able to stream properly for lack of a better word kind of the same thing here but this time around I just went ahead and said fuck it since I had already I had already uh, had streamed in two days I didn't really want there to be a third since this is my night off so I need to take advantage of that um but turn out that um Turn out that this session was pretty much a waste of time. Um, it was pretty much, pretty much a ghost town, dead as a doornail. I think, um, I think one person came on, and I think, I think he said something like, "Oh no," I think his name was the Gaming Skulls. He came on and said like, "Hey, have you ever played such and such game?" And then that was it. Like, all right, good to see you too, man. You know, but like, uh, but like I said, the stream was pretty much dead. Now, to be fair, I did put in my Twitch description that uh, that hey, this might be a short session because I, you know, I have a back injury. So, I figured what had happened is uh, people saw that and like, oh, I ain't going on that stream. So, which is why you know nobody showed up. But I mean, so technically, I might have shot myself in the foot, but I. I gotta be honest, like, hey, you know, you know, like I said, this might, you know, because I don't want to just say, doing another great pinball session, doing some random tables and tourneys, come aboard, everybody, and then wind up having to cut the stream short because of my back. I mean, I feel like I'd be betraying my audience if I did that, so I just as soon as, look, you know, if I, if there's a, if I'm gonna have a major problem like this, I'd rather put that down in the description to let everybody know, hey man, don't be surprised if I leave. But, but like I said, on one end, that that might be shooting myself in the foot, but on the other hand too, I gotta keep it honest too. So I'd rather rather be up front with something like that. So but like but like I said, you know, kind of a recap. In the end though, I shouldn't have bothered. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Hold on. Uh, but otherwise, as for the session itself, once again, it was basically a waste of time. I um, I think I won a couple FX3 tournaments, but I was for the most part uh, below average. I mean, I wasn't downright terrible, but I most certainly could have done a lot better on a lot of stuff. But like I said, you know, I had my uh, I had my upper back that was fucking with me the whole time, so it kind of hard to kind of hard to stay focused. So, and then same same with the, same thing with pinball arcade. It just couldn't really concentrate. Uh, it was pretty much a below average session. So. So I think uh, I only streamed maybe like a couple hours. Um, I was pretty much hearing crickets chirping and stuff, so I just went ahead and just said, fuck it. But 
what? Uh, that's that on that. I'm gonna take another drink. But otherwise, after that, um, for the most part, I just did a gaming medley. Um, played some idle champs, like like usual. Um, played just ran it for a while. Um, played some gems of war for a little bit, not too long. Um, and then uh, on a whim, since I forgot to mention this earlier, but uh. Since Epic's, since there were no game crashes today, I mean, FX3 worked, DX11 and Pinball Arcade worked, uh, I just figured, you know, why not fire up a uh, Guilty Gear Strive? I haven't played that game in a very long time, because I think, uh, I made one attempt, like, about a week ago, and it crashed. So, um, fired it up, um, seemed to work. I think, uh, it's also, it's got a really weird quirk that, uh, it's actually most graphics intensive during the character select screen. Or, like I said, it's, it's really strange that it does that. I think it's the only game I can think of that has that issue. Most every other game I play, I mean, the, the slowdown occurs during actual gameplay, not on a character select screen. Uh, so, but like I said, um, just mega mega just went on training mode for a little while um i random select i can't remember her name she's got a big she's got like a big wolf around her neck uh i think she's like the she works in the secret service protecting the president or giovanna yeah that's her name um just did training mode with her for a little while uh but again it just it was really hard to focus. I mean, my back, I mean, my back was too, uh, I was too, too focused on my back. So, I ended up calling it off there. And then there's the, um, and then there's the issue of, uh, I, me having to have all the graphics settings at the lowest on that game. And so the, the game's like really awful to look at. It's like all pixelated, but like I said, I have to do that in order to make it work. Um, and the game is basically unstreamable. I actually tried streaming this about a year ago. And again, I had to, I had to turn all the graphics, or I had to set all the graphics to the lowest. And even then, it was still lagging. So, it's one of those that I can only play offline, but with, um, usually with fighting games, I prefer to stream it. So, if I can't do that, then I don't, I hardly play them at all. Um, and then at some point later, I think, I'm trying to remember where I found it. Um, I think it actually came up on, uh, one of my Steam recommendations. Like, just totally, completely out of the blue, like it was a YouTube algorithm or something. You know, kind of thing that totally, you know, comes up, gives me this totally, completely random shit. Well, another game came up, um, Creatures of Aether. Uh, it's basically a, it's a card version of Rivals of Aether, one of my favorite fighting games. Checked that out, I'm like, holy shit! It's like, um, the game's part triple triad, it's this mini game that's in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, it was, uh, one of my favorite mini games on there. But yeah, it's, a. Uh, it's a combination of Rivals of Aether and Triple Triad. Like, okay, this is pretty cool. It's like the best of both worlds. Um, but played it, and I actually, uh, I actually, I actually recorded a video of me playing it. Like, the tutorial on, like, the first, first match or two after that. So, there's gonna be a chance that in the future, I might actually be streaming this game, too. But 
but I mean, think, think about that. Oh, that those. Um, I'm still wanting to stream pinball. You know, I'm. You know, I'm still basically, I have to work creatures of eighth or end of my schedule somewhere. So, because like, once again, I mean, I mean, I still want to stream pinball too. So, and then um, then there's the issue of uh. One of the reasons why I stream pinball is because lots of people come to check me out. Um, I think it was also one of the reasons why I don't really, I don't really stream a lot of the games that I do that I used to. It just nobody shows up for them. So, I mean, hell, I might as well just play this shit offline. Um, I don't know how, uh, I don't know how Creatures of Aether is gonna work. So. Chances are what I might end up doing is possibly as early as tomorrow go ahead and do a Creatures of Aether stream. See how well that works. So. I think there was something else I was wanting to say too. I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah. But otherwise, again, for the most part, just, um, just sitting around, sitting around watching shit, watching random stuff. And then, again, like I said about, uh, uh, not Siberian Express, Siberian Ambience, like I said, they, uh, there's like a whole bunch of, uh, recent albums that came out. I've just been doing, uh, copyright checks on them. Basically, it was 50-50. Some of them are copyrighted, some of them weren't. So. All I know is, uh, I hope, hope I'm going to be able to sleep tomorrow. Because, like I said, the, the ibuprofen and Tylenol, really, they're not helping that much. Uh, but otherwise, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so... Just got to go get this thing uploaded and processed and all that good stuff. So. But otherwise, um, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And uh, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow, so... But until then, uh, thanks for dropping by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.